why the AN-225 Maria is such a badass plane. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about the Antonov AN-225 Maria, which is also known as one of the largest planes in the world. However, it's also called the Beast in Disguise, but have you ever wondered why is it called so? The Antonov AN-225 has numerous features which makes it one of the most badass planes among all the other aircrafts. To know about its most marvelous and incredible features, continue watching the whole video till the end. The purpose of this video is to help you understand and keep you updated on facts that you never knew before. So I guess without any further delay, let's just dive into the video. Also, before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. <laughs> Why the AN-225 Maria is such a badass plane? There are various reasons for the plane to be considered as such a badass plane. Let's view some of them including the overall performance, the mechanism, the design whereas what's the role of the plane which directly benefits the lives of the people in the modern era. The development of the Antonov AN-225 Maria. During the early 1980s, the Soviet Union of America had various problems regarding the rockets being too big. The transportation during that time was inadequate. The Soviet leaders, although tried every conceivable mode of transportation, but couldn't succeed in any. Although there was one way that could make things easier, that was the air transportation. Despite this, there was no such aircraft that could carry such a heavy payload. The Soviet leaders later decided to hand over a project to the AN-124 Roslin. Researchers and studies prove that the assembled Buran rocket and its components that the plane carried on its back would adversely affect the airflow around the plane. To fix this problem, Moscow took into consideration of having even a bigger plane. This resulted in the development of the AN-225 aircraft, which was derived from the project which was named as the Article 400 previously. As the AN-225 was capable of lifting up to 225 tons of internal cargo and would ride on its back. The AN-225 resulted to be one of the most successful air launch for the Soviet leaders during that period. The Designing of the Beast AN-225 AN-225 is unlike any aircraft in the world. The designing of the aircraft was quite sick. It consisted of six turbofans, which resulted in putting out a staggering amount of 309,000 pounds of thrust, giving it the ability to nearly lift double the payload of the actual capacity. Despite this, the AN-225 also performed activities like carrying the Buran components on its back, as well as also launching the spacecraft into the orbit directly from the midair. This was totally insane, as something like this never happened before. You may wonder how was the plane capable of doing so. Basically, the plane was powerful enough because of its fully fueled space, which enabled its payload up to lower stratosphere, thus helped in launching the spacecraft to an altitude of 8 kilometers. This resulted in allowing the spacecraft to reach the orbit at one-tenth the cost of launching from the ground. <laughs> This was highly appreciated by the Soviet leaders for having the reusable launch system providing an advantage for the Energia Buran. Later the year 1988, the Soviet planned various developments to build several Antonov AN-225s to serve as a backbone for their space program. The developers claimed that the aircraft was not only a transport plane but also a flying launch pad for future space vehicles. The mission of an AN-225 because of its massive size, the aircraft made it easier of launching the spacecraft into the orbit. Regardless, it was known as the world's largest plane. During 1991, the aerospace industry struggled due to some reasons. Due to these various proposals were made so that the AN-225 would be able to perform during that period. Ideas also included in converting the AN-225 into triple-decker passenger jet, consisting of a luxurious private bedroom, shopping malls, as well as a casino. Later, Russia, Ukraine, 
and the UK proposed new projects making the AN-225 available for the new generation of space plane. The AN-225 played vital roles in performing several missions in Russia. It also failed due to some technical problems, although it didn't end there and started refashioning into a commercial carrier of oversized cargo. Despite facing some troubles, the AN-225 still shows an amazing performance in the history of aviation. One of them, the AN-225 broke various records, making it the badass plane in the entire history. The vintage design and modern technology. The reason behind the AN-225 being so resistive because of its design and the modern technology that's being used by the engineers while developing such a machine. With its slouching wings consisting of each six huge turbofan engines as well as assembled with a twin tail making it easier for the aircraft in managing the turbulence. The antenna of AN-225 is equipped with triple redundant hydraulics and a fly-by-wire control system. The unique feature of this aircraft is that it doesn't have any rear cargo access. Unlike the other aircrafts. Instead of that, the cargo loading in AN-225 is done through the nose of the aircraft. And it may seem shocking for some guys watching this as this was one of the facts that not many people know about. The technology of this aircraft consists of high maintenance with wide-spanning sweep-back wings mounted in the fuselage sides. The wings were manufactured with a high degree of flexibility which helps the aircraft in balancing its speed as well as the 18 series engines are placed which are rated at 51,600 pounds of thrust. The aircraft crossing over 200 world records. The <laughs> The aircraft is widely known for lifting various components as well as aircraft. It was dealt with many companies and was successful most of the times. The air set over 200 world records by lifting the world's longest cargo and the heaviest cargo. One of them was set back in 2004 when it flew a 247-ton pipeline to Uzbekistan. Due to some complications, the aircraft was taken out of service in 1994 and brought back in 2001. Since then, it's delivered aid to disaster scenes and serve the nation. However, it's rare to see the aircraft in action as it delivers only once a year. To control the pressure while landing, the AN-225 has 32 wheels that spread across its landing gear. It has a world record with having the longest wing and the longest bodied operational plane in the world. Having a length of 85 meter, it also has an 88 meter wingspan. It's also plane in having a weight of 175 tons without any fuel and cargo. The largest strategic cargo transport in the world. For a fact, the antenna of AN-225 Maria is longer than the Boeing 747. Not only that, it even has crossed the record of an Airbus A380, which was once known for being the most largest strategic cargo transport aircraft. Thus, it makes an AN-225 to be known as one of the most largest strategic cargo transport in the world. The engineers play a very vital role in designing the plane in such way, although affecting the long-term cost. The AN-225 has nearly a capacity of storing around 50 cars easily in its cargo space. The AN-225 Rhea is capable of delivering extra heavy oversized cargo to anywhere in the world. That's the reason the aircraft holds on many records. Apparently, it has also delivered a generator that consists a total weight of around 417,000 pounds. The maximum cargo lift that the AN-225 has recorded is 550,000 pounds. That's one of the most incredible lifts performed by the aircraft. The aircraft has even helped during the times it needed to. Around 2002, the American soldiers were starving and were in search of food. The aircraft then flew from Germany to Oman with 216,000 ready-to-eat meals for the soldiers out there. The aircraft was packed with full of military cargo. This meals weighed 188 tons and were transported on 0.37 pallets. One last fact about the Antonov AN-225 is that it requires seven people to operate the flight. This includes two pilots, a loadmaster, and technicians. Lately, even the cargo doors were removed to save weight. This was all about the Antonov AN-225, thus reaching at a conclusion that brings it up to be known as one of the badass planes till yet.
with this, we end our today's video. Till then, see y'all. Have a good day. Adios, amigos. Take care, and thanks for watching.